How are you? Fine. All right? Hello, what up? How are you? Morning, sir. Hello. Sama? Sama, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. How are you? Bonjour. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello. I have a love post commander, Lieutenant okay. General Bala Keita. Okay. This is our TD system. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Please be seated. Ah bon, voilà, c'est le bon, il y a la différence. 
Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you, sir? Fine, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, arrival of our guest of honor, the special representative of Secretary General, His Excellency, Mr. Perfect Onanga Ananga. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I like your colors, guys. Your Excellency, Captain Ravi Thapa reporting. The parade is ready for inspection. Straight? Yes, sir. Get the dog, the model dog. Yes, sir. C'est magnifique. Il paraît que le mien est plus long. Ah oui, tout à fait. Eh, how are you? Ça c'est vrai. Officers, bearing the flags of Central African Republic, United Nations, and Nepal, including Mount Everest, the world's tallest peak, Rumini, the birthplace of Gautam Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, colonized, land gifted with the blessings of pristine natural beauty, the great Himalayas. Attractive green fields, fertile plains, total, a peaceful country with a wide range of geographic features, cultural and religious. Today, the sequence of events for the medal awarding ceremony will be presentation of souvenirs to the guests of honor, group photo followed by refreshments.
Nepali Army. At the Ladies and gentlemen, the program will begin with the United Nations Anthem, followed by Nepalese National Anthem. All are kindly requested to rise and to leave.
I would like to call upon the commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Gaurav Guru, to deliver the welcome note. Representing Nepali Army, oldest army in the South Asia, with history of more than 250 years, it is my abundant pleasure and pride to welcome you all on this auspicious occasion of UN Medal Awarding Ceremony. With the experience of glorious warfare throughout its history, Nepalese army had fought for unification of Nepal campaign and had continuously defended sovereignty and territorial integrity of its motherland against Mir Qasim campaign, Captain Kindu campaign, Anglo-Nepal war, Nepal-Tibet war, and Nepal-Tibet-China war. It's the grace of our lion-hearted predecessors of this organization that Nepal and we Nepali succeeded to remain independent forever, never been colonized throughout history, and the term Gurkha with their traditional personal weapon Kukuri became synonymous to gallantry and fearlessness. The word Gurkhas need no further explanatory today in any part in the globe. Your Excellency, Nepal Army had actively participated for the prosperity of its allied force of both of all wars, Indian Sepoy mutiny conflict, Waziristan, Hyderabad, and Kampa disarmament campaign. With the beginning, with the becoming member of the United Nations back in 1955, is a tool of country's foreign policy. Nepal has been actively participating in peacekeeping operations. The participation of our army in even peace support operations spans a period of over a half century, covering some 42 UN missions, in which over 120,000 personnel have participated so far. Our long association with UN peace support operation began with the modest deployment of five military observers in United Nations Observer Group in Lebanon back in 1958. Their high level of integrity, loyalty, flexibility, and professionalism have been widely acclaimed. Now we Nepali Army rated as easily accepted peacekeepers in all conflict-torn countries, and it always accepted all sorts of challenge and participating in most difficult UN missions. Our 63 brave peacekeepers made the ultimate sacrifice in foreign soil for the noble cause of peace, and another 63 have been disabled till the date. We, with utmost gratitude, salute to them. Your Excellency, the first Nepali contingent, the Puranagara Battalion, was deployed in Egypt in 1974. It's a matter of great prestige for me that I belong to the same battalion and had the great opportunity to command that prestigious battalion few years back in home. As of February 2018, the Nepali army deployed in across 13 UN missions around the world with 4,834 soldiers, including 130 female soldiers. As a troops contributing country, Nepal ranks six in the world and has a commitment to provide up to 5,000 peacekeepers as per the request from the United Nations. Your Excellency, now here in MINUSCA, Nepal Army is holding a vital responsibility of force military police since 9th March 2015, and it is the only one contingent which is deployed in 10 military police detachments covering all over the area of responsibility of MINUSCA. It has multi-dimensional tasks to maintain discipline, law, and order within the force. It is assigned with the accountable duty of enforcing and instituting the military members to comply with the mandate of mission and directives of the force leadership. Besides its conventional duties, it is proactively combating with the disturbing issue of sexual exploitation and abuse, and I'm happy today to announce that the outcome is very praiseworthy. Our team and conducted fact-finding inquiry even during the dire stage of security situation of Bangasu, Bria, and other areas. 12 hours daily ACA prevention patrol in Bangi and 10 hours patrol in other MP detachment is the strict order from my commander. And it is the, and in this juncture, I kindly assure you that those orders are meticulously implemented throughout the year. 
our joint nature, joint night SCA prevention patrol with all stakeholders is becoming simply the strong answer to all international media about mission's effort and initiative to mitigate sexual abuse and exploitation. Our gender balance unit has the best traffic record among all units in MINUSCA. Besides scattered nature of deployment in small strength, operational trade and logistic challenge, the members of this unit and one and only law enforcing unit of the force did not hesitate even for enforcement activities against MINUSCA forces would violate the leadership directives. I have the moral power and integrity that we don't leave any small room to complain in our impartiality. Our leadership's decision to judicious deployment of this special asset of the force commander in the field has been giving tangible dividends. I share this success with all our stakeholders. Is collective effort is already proven vital to achieve our desire and state. Your Excellency, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Your Excellency, the Special Representative of Secretary General, Mr. Prophet Ananga Ananga, Force Commander Lieutenant Balaketa, for your competent leadership and guidance to achieve our goal. I also thank Mission Support Director, Multi Contingents, Child Protection, Women Protection, Office of Internal Oversight, Special Investigation Unit, Gender Unit, Board of Inquiry, Claim, Road Safety, PIO, MINUSCA Spokesperson, and Farm Police Unit who work closely with us during our course of duty. Finally, I express my sincere gratitude to His Excellency, SISC, Force Commander, Director of Mission Support, Force Chief of the JTAP Commander, Deputy DMS, for their generosity for awarding UN Medal to Nepali contingents. Once again, thank you all for your graceful presence. Thank you. Reza Konkar for the UN Medal Award citation. For Nepal Force Military Police Unit 3. Excellency, the Special Representative to Secretary General, First Commander, Director of Mission Support, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. In pursuance of world peace at large, and, the, and in Central African Republic in particular, Nepal as part of the United Nations, continues to support the people of the Central African Republic to maintain a stable, secure, and peaceful environment. This quest for peace in the Central African Republic began some years ago and culminated into the inception of the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in the Central African Republic on 15 September 2014. Nepal Force Military Police Unit was deployed in the mission on 9 March 2015. Since its deployment, the unit has been responsible for good order and military discipline a multi component of MINUSCA by ensuring that MINUSCA military members comply with DPKO, SRG, First Commander, Sector and Contingent Commander's directives, orders, and instructions, as well as the local law and regulations. Nepal Force Military Police has jurisdiction over the entire MINUSCA mission area and has been able to commence the task in a commendable manner. The unit is deployed all over Central African Republic in small detachments and are entrusted with various tasks like investigation, SCA prevention patrol, inspection of baggage during rotation, establishment of checkpoints, conducting SCA on this class, maintenance of road traffic rules and regulations, manning of water points, surveillance of off-limit areas, monitoring the curfew hours, ceremonial duties, and various military police-related duties. The unit has been conducting tasks and missions with professionalism, keeping the importance of peace above everything, and as a result, the force leadership has awarded the contingent with commendation later. The good leadership role played by the contingent commander, Lieutenant Colonel Gorab Gurong, his deputy major, Dinesh Thapa, the contribution of and determination of each member of the unit have won 
the admiration and commendation of all. It is in recognition of these good efforts in the mission area and having satisfied the mandatory 90 days minimum in the mission area according to the United Nations Directive on Eligibility of Medal that the Special Representative of Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Mr. Prophet Unanga Renga, award the Nepal Military Police Unit the Minister Medal on this day, 6th March 2018. Thank you. Commanding officers, along with the contingent officers, to line up to receive the UN Medal. Now request our Chief Guest, Special Representative of Secretary General, His Excellency Mr. Prophet Unanga Enanga, to honor the UN Medals to the contingent commander. <laughs> Is it not Colonel? This one? It's my greatest honor and pleasure on behalf of the Secretary General to give you this uh, medal in uh, recognition of your professionalism and uh, how do you how do you get it doesn't come out. Okay, very good. So, um, congratulations. Uh, this is a medal to recognize your professionalism, your dedication to the cause of peace in the South Africa. Thank you, Excellency. So, congratulations. Thank you so much, Excellency. Thank you, Major. Again, uh, it's my pleasure to award you this medal. We have the Secretary General, the recognition of your services, and to sign the peace. Mr. President, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. This is Captain. Sir, I'm rewarding you this medal, the recognition of your services, and to sign the peace of South Africa. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to reward you this medal in the attention of your services and personal you because of peace and stability. Thank 
in difficult uh, work um, you have you haven't suffered you know any casualties uh, and uh, it's always a matter of concern when this occurred to the mission and uh, of course it's always an opportunity to um, uh, again uh, acknowledge those who have uh, made the ultimate sacrifice for the cause of peace in this country but uh, um, I appreciate also your work, especially in the fight against SEA. You know that this is one of the, the major, really, um, uh, uh, threats. Uh, it's not only the, the armed groups. As the first commander used to say, this is the enemy of this mission. And therefore, your contribution in making it, uh, uh, in addressing this, uh, this uh, uh, scourge and ensuring that we can really here in this in this mission live up to the SGs, to the Secretary General's commitment to zero tolerance uh, of sexual exploitation and abuse. I think is uh, is extremely important. So this is highly appreciated, and all of this speaks a lot about your professionalism, um, your dedication, and uh, I would like to, um, in particular, to salute you, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, uh, Gorab Gorong, I think uh, um, the the way your your team carries itself is a reflection on on yourself. Uh, it's always a problem for us to have a dedicated um, um, uh, troops, and um, whenever there is a, a discipline and dedication in the way we see you with your troops, uh, it tells a story of uh, command and control. So we we do we do appreciate that. And uh, uh, here also we want to pay tribute to Nepal, your great nation, as the six largest troop contributing countries uh, to the United Nations. And I have no doubt that uh, you will, uh, uh, in the same spirit, um, succeeding uh, uh, components of the military, um, uh, of the, the military police, of the Nepali force will uh, um, serve this mission with dedication, professionalism, and uh, we look forward to um, um, continuing this uh, excellent um, cooperation and collaboration that we're having with you. So thank you for your contribution, and uh, thank you again for this uh, very nice uh, celebration. Thank you. Of course, whenever the legacy of legendary Gorkha soldiers is discussed, it is inseparable from the legacy of the traditional personal weapon. Thank you, Thank you so much. Likewise, the report commander, Lieutenant General Balakaita. Okay, this is. Uh, Thank you, sir. So, military police, you are arming me and uh, <laughs> so we can fight. <laughs> How the Nepali they use it? Eh? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
one photo please sir one more thank you sir Thank you, Namaste, and good day to you all.
Mettons des médailles à nos troupes euh, pour euh, d'abord euh, reconnaître leur service, leur état de service et euh, 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 les encourager à faire plus. Et généralement, ces, ces médailles se donnent au moment où les troupes se préparent à euh, avoir une rotation. Et euh, dans le cas de, du, euh, du contingent euh, euh, népalais hein, qui est ici. Euh, euh, qui constitue notre police militaire. Hein euh, évidemment, c'était une expression de, de satisfaction pour le travail euh, immense qu'ils accomplissent, malgré leur taille réduite, ils sont seulement 120, et ils couvrent euh, la totalité euh, du, du territoire. Et ils sont pour nous la garantie qu'on euh, ne fait pas seulement confiance à nos troupes, mais on doit également contrôler euh, leur comportement. Et donc, euh, ils sont euh, un outil indispensable pour la mission dans la lutte contre les abus sexuels. Et ils veillent donc, euh, euh, à travers leur présence sur toute l'étendue du territoire, à contrôler euh, le comportement de nos troupes. Donc cela est extrêmement important. Second point, ils ont aussi la responsabilité de euh, nous assurer que nos, euh, nos staffs, civils et militaires, se conduisent bien. Euh, mais aussi euh, conduisent bien les, les véhicules qui sont mis à leur disposition. Comme vous savez, euh, les accidents de circulation sont la première cause de mortalité dans les missions de paix. Et donc depuis qu'on leur a donné cette responsabilité, euh, ils ont euh, contribué énormément à réduire le nombre d'accidents routiers et donc euh, à s'assurer que nos euh, personnels euh, se comportent euh, sur la route, que ce soit en milieu urbain ou en milieu euh, rural, euh, d'une manière qui soit responsable. Voilà, c'est un peu le sens de cette mission et euh, au moment où donc euh, le contingent euh, de la police militaire népalaise se prépare à rentrer euh, chez elle, en attendant évidemment l'arrivée de nouveaux contingents, il était important de reconnaître leur, euh, leur, euh, la qualité du service, le professionnalisme avec lequel ils se sont acquittés de leurs tâches.